the point I made about Adam with regards to the day, he's no longer in the day, he is in the night. And I want you to get this imagery because it's really important. Genesis 3, 23 to 24. Therefore, the Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man. That's strong. Okay, Genesis 3, 24. So he drove out the man. That word drove means to divorce. It means to expel and to thrust out. That's what happened when light enters the room, darkness is expelled. It's divorced and it's driven out of the environment, right? So now that he is darkness, he's got to go. And the Bible says, lest he reach out and touch the tree of light and his condition be mixed. God doesn't do shades of gray. John 1, verse 1 to 5. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God and all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. Now verse four. In him was life and the life was the light of men. All right, the lights are gonna get turned on shortly. And the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. Now think of this now with regards to first man Adam who now had to be expelled from the light. Now the light's coming back, all right, and it's going to expel his condition. Now here comes the grace. John 1, verse 14, same chapter, a few verses on. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, all right? So he's bringing the restoration of the grace of God back to a new kind. Verse 17, for the law, which is the shadow, was given through a shadow, who was Moses, after the first man, Adam, notwithstanding God used him and graced him for the purpose for which he came. Beautiful, salute Moses, still old creation. All right, so the law, the shadow was given through Moses, but grace and truth, day and light, was given through Jesus Christ. Powerful. Now, do you realize that what I just read there had already been established in the first four verses of Genesis? Let me compare it with, to you. Genesis 1, verse 1 to 5. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right? The earth was formed, and interestingly, there's a gap theory. You might have heard of it. Some people, uh, the theologians, believe there's a massive time frame between verse 1 and 2 of Genesis, and within that time frame is where they believe the fall of Satan and all that occurred. It's not the, what I want to get into tonight, but just to bring it to your awareness, because I think it could potentially have relevance to the next verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Now, uh, my God doesn't create that um, darkness and without void. So this is a picture, this, this is a type and picture of um, fallen man in the earth right here. The earth is without form because there's only one form and his name is Jesus. So if you don't have Jesus, you're without form. Okay, so you're invalid. Uh, you, you are a shadow walker. Okay, so the earth was without form, it was void. Void meaning empty, all right? That's why fallen man, his destination was the dirt because he was empty of spirit, life and reality. So he's void. Adam was null and void. Yeah fallen at him, all right? And darkness. Now we've already established he lost his light, so he by default, the old creation man is darkness. So he's without form, he's void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. I think I've gone some way to establishing this as a type and picture of the fallen man. Now look what happens. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, now, who is the Word? In the beginning was the Word. 
The Word was with God. The Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and the Word became flesh. What was His name? Jesus. So then God said is the same as the Word. What John has revealed to us in his chap first chapter of the gospel is this creation pattern for a new creation. Then God said, let there be light. Who is the light of men? We are only in verse 3 of the first chapter of the Bible. And there was light. And he dwelt among us. The first begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. The shadow came through, the void, the darkness. Framework was in the other man, grace and truth, grace and light, grace and life came through the word. His name is Jesus. Okay, let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light and he said, it is good. God saw the light and he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The good shepherd. You see it? So, and God saw the light and it was good. Now watch this. I wish I had my slide. And God divided the light from the darkness. God divided, God divorced, God forced out, expelled and separated old creation man from new creation man. All right? And so, essentially, everything now that has come through Christ, the last Adam is the light. It is the day. Now he has separated through his son day from night. Light from dark, grace from law, spirit from flesh, love from self. Paul would reiterate the point in 1 Thessalonians 5 to 5. All those who have believed into Jesus Christ, now they've believed into the day. The Sabbath is a person and his name is Jesus. Okay? 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. Hello, somebody. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. So he is saying now what you are. And what you are not. He is having to make a clear differentiation. And it's, this is, goes all the way back to the first verse of Genesis and the covenant of Godhead who only ever purposed and willed to create a covenant of light. A covenant of day, a covenant of love, a covenant of spirit. Everything God has for you is within the perimeters of the finished work of the cross accessed by faith. His grace through faith. So, it it's, comes back to that issue of the curse, right? The curse didn't come from God. The curse is an outcome of our condition in his absence. All right? Um, dark is the outcome of our condition in his absence. Light. Self is the outcome of our condition in his absence. What's that? Love. Carnality is the outcome of our condition in his absence. What's that? Spirit. Are you getting it? Grace. The law is our condition in the absence of his grace. So you cannot introduce it. You cannot mix up the machineries of two distinct atoms. The first atom and the last atom, who is Jesus. 